It's common for big clubs to give young stars less playing time at the beginning, just like Cristiano Ronaldo in his early stages at Manchester United and even Lionel Messi at Barcelona. However, there are some talented young players in big clubs right now who are at the peak of their game and deserve to play regularly. These rising stars are ready to shine and not giving them a chance would be unjust. One young talent who deserves our attention is Julian Alvarez. He's an exceptional player who's already won both the treble and the World Cup. We understand that Haaland fits well with Pep's transformation at City. However, when we consider the Premier League playing time this season, Alvarez has only played half as much as Haaland. It's about time that City gives this talented forward his fair share of playing time. He's proven himself and it's only fair to let him show his skills on the field. Similarly, Alejandro Garnacho has proven to be a promising talent for the future. Last season, he caused problems for defenders more than any other players at United, including Sancho, Martial and Anthony. Even in the FA Cup final, when he came on as a sub, he was the only player who caused problems for City's defence. However, the problem lies in United not giving him enough playing time. It's about time that Ten Hag recognises Garnacho's abilities and provides him with more opportunities on the pitch. At the end of the day, he's shown more promise than Jadon Sancho ever did in a United shirt. While there's a high probability that Garnacho would be given more playing time next season, another young prodigy who deserves careful consideration is Arsenal's Emil Smith-Rowe. If we look back, he emerged as one of the most exciting young talents in the 2021-22 season. His stellar performances helped the Gunners secure a spot in the Europa League with an impressive tally of 11 goals and 2 assists. Unfortunately, injuries and Odegaard's exceptional form interrupted his season. It's clear that he deserves more minutes on the field, whether as a number 10 or as a backup for Martinelli. As Arsenal gear up for UEFA Champions League stint, Arteta will need to rotate the squad, and Smith Rowe could undoubtedly be a part of his plans for the upcoming season. Similar to Arteta, Pep Guardiola should be more thoughtful and provide additional opportunities to Rico Lewis. Pep himself acknowledged Lewis's significant contribution to City's Champions League win. What made him stand out? his versatility and ability to excel in various positions. Lewis proved himself as a reliable left-back, right-back, defensive midfielder and even central midfielder when called upon. Although he only played 14 games in the Premier League, his versatility makes him a valuable asset for the team, especially during critical stages of the competition. Looking ahead, it's highly likely that Lewis will feature more prominently next season. Another promising young talent to consider is Aurelien Chouameni. He is yet to fulfil his potential with Los Blancos, but he's in desperate need for more playing time to do that. However, as Madrid's midfield, led by the experienced Toni Kroos and Luka Modric, is gradually ageing, we think Chouameni should be given the chance to step up and shine in the team. Plus, the prospect of Chouameni, Camavinga and the talented Jude Bellingham teaming up in the future is truly exciting. Together, they could create wonders on the field, forming a formidable partnership. On a similar note, Liverpool must hand the keys to the pitch to Stefan Bajatic. Unfortunately, a setback in the form of an injury sidelined him for the remainder of the season. However, considering his potential and the positive impact he had before his injury, Liverpool must give Bajatic more chances to prove himself on the pitch. With the right opportunities, he can further showcase his skills and become an integral part of the team's future success. But perhaps, Brighton would be committing a crime if they don't make Evan Ferguson their main man up front next season. Yes, we agree that injury destroyed his season, but still, more chances will be better because this young talent has shown his true class and is hailed as the next Harry Kane. With two crucial goals against Southampton, Ferguson played a significant role in securing European football for the Seagulls. At just 18 years old, his impact on Brighton's attack and opposition defences has been remarkable. Some experts even predict he could become a £100 million player in the future. But to unlock his full potential, Ferguson needs more playing time. Elsewhere, Yusufa Mukoko from Dortmund last season played in 26 Bundesliga games but only started 11 of them. Despite limited opportunities, his contribution was remarkable with 7 goals and 4 assists. As an 18-year-old forward, Mukoku is set to play more regularly in the forthcoming season. To secure more playing time, he needs to focus on improving his physical fitness and maintaining consistency on the field. With these improvements, Mukoku has the potential to become a key player for Dortmund. Reese Nelson is another rising star who has the potential to thrive if given more chances to play next season. Even though he only appeared as a sub for Arsenal in 11 Premier League games, his ability to play on both wings adds valuable versatility, especially during crucial times when there are plenty of games. 
By granting Nelson more chances on the pitch, Arsenal can further improve his capabilities. Lastly, we'll turn our attention to Josip Stanisic, the talented defender from Bayern Munich. At just 23 years old, what's remarkable is that he can excel in multiple positions, right back, centre back and left back. It's like having three players in one. Considering his potential and contributions, it's only fair that Stanisic receives more playing time and secures a regular spot in the team in the upcoming season. This is particularly crucial because Tuchel believes in squad rotation to maintain freshness and competitiveness in both domestic and European competitions. With Stanisic's adaptability, he can bring a new dimension to Bayern's defence and contribute to their continued success. Have we missed anyone? Go ahead and share him with us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn off that bell notification so you never miss out on new content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.